Hello friends, this is Eric Harrison, and in this video I want to talk to you about why Thanksgiving matters to me. Yes, Thanksgiving season is here. In fact, I'm releasing this video just before Thanksgiving, but likely you'll see it afterwards. But in this video, I want to talk to you about why Thanksgiving is so important and why I believe it's a holiday that should be celebrated every day of the year. And I'm going to give you five powerful reasons and five powerful quotes that relate to thankfulness and gratitude and why I believe they're so important to your daily life and should be celebrated each and every day. So let's get started. So last week I released a video and uh, talked to you about being thankful in all circumstances. There'll be a link at the end of the video, I encourage you to go back and watch that and to uh, really appreciate what I'm trying to communicate, why I believe it's so important to be thankful all the time. But in this video, right at the Thanksgiving holiday, I just wanted to share some quotes with you. And if you watched any of my videos, you know that I am really big on quotes. In fact, again, if you go back and look in my um uh, catalog, you'll see I recorded a video recently called Can Motivational Quotes Change Your Life? And I believe, yes, absolutely they can. It's worked for me in my uh, entire 35-year career, and I believe it can work for you. And I always love sharing motivational quotes and why I think the quotes are so important. So here we go. Let's get started. Number one is Henri Frederick Amiel, and he said this, and I think this is a, really lean in to this quote because there's a lot of wisdom in it. He said, thankfulness is the beginning of gratitude. Gratitude is the completion of thankfulness. Thankfulness may consist merely of words. Gratitude is shown in acts. And here's why I think that's so important. We're going, getting ready to gather around our Thanksgiving tables, and in this year of pandemic, it may be different than it normally is for most of us. I'm sure that's true. But nevertheless, we're going to express words of gratitude before we uh, uh, enjoy the meal. We're going to thank God for our blessings, for our family, for the freedoms we enjoy. And those are all very important, but they're just words. And I think that more important than the words of thanksgiving is that we show gratitude with acts. I think that's where we really make a difference in the world. And by our acts, we show how truly grateful we are for the opportunities we've been given. So that's number one. Number two uh, comes to us from uh, Coach John Wooden. He says, things turn out best for people who make the best of the way things turn out. Isn't that so true? We are defined by how we respond, not how we react. In other words, things happen in life over which we have no control. How are you going to respond? How are you going to bounce back from that? Because we're all going to face sub setbacks. So my encouragement to you is to use problems to seek solutions. Don't focus on those problems longer than you need to, but take the opportunity to look at them and then decide for yourself, how can I learn? How, what solutions does this problem present that I can go out and take effect? What can I work on that will make a difference? Number three, the more you express gratitude for what you have, the more you will have to express gratitude for. You guys all know by now, this is from one of my favorites, Mr. Zig Ziglar. And this is just so true. I think, you know, the more you look inward and not outward, the more you'll realize you have to be thankful for, the more you will see how truly blessed you are. You know, I want to encourage you not to fall into the comparison trap in any area of your life because we can look at other people, we can look at uh, people who maybe have achieved more success than we have, but we don't know the journey people have been on. What we have to do is just focus on ourselves, 
look inward, focus on what we can control, what we can change, and I promise you if you start to look at all of the things that you have to be grateful for, you will become a more grateful person. The easiest way to do this is simply to just start a gratitude journal. Whether you do it on your smartphone or whether you do it on a, a written journal, whatever you do, the more grateful that you are, the more you'll have to be grateful for. can encourage you strongly enough to put that practice into practice. So number four, you cannot do a kindness too soon because you never know how soon it will be too late. From Ralph Waldo Emerson. Don't miss today's blessings and opportunities, friends. None of us know how many, how long we have to go. None of us know when things may be completely changed and our lives may be turned upside down. Don't miss the opportunity that today presents you to really make a difference, to really invest in other people. Um, you know, in fact, I would encourage you, you know, time is the most precious asset we all have. And I would invest you not to spend time, but to invest in time. Make the most of every minute, every day. I know there's things that you could focus on, reasons to not uh, perhaps be at your best, but you have to get past those because time is running out for all of us. All of us are one day closer to eternity than we were yesterday. And, it, and this day is gonna be gone way too soon. So focus on that. And for goodness sakes, don't waste time. Don't spend time, but invest in the way that you use time for your benefit and for the benefit of others. And that leads us uh, really to our last quote, which is the way to develop the best in a person is by appreciation and encouragement. And that's from Charles Schwab. And, <clears throat> you know, we advance from success to significance when we start focusing on other people. When we take the focus off ourselves, where we're not doing everything for our own benefit, but we're trying to benefit others. There is no greater joy in life, believe me, friends, than helping others to realize their potential, to investing in those lives, to blessing other people, and showing them how they can be and do their best. It is truly one of the greatest joys in my life to be able to do that. So what do you think? I hope you these quotes were as meaningful to you as they are to me. I hope you'll go back and uh, revisit these quotes and share with me which one is your favorite. I would have a hard time picking from the five, but I'd love to know what you think. Which quote really resonated with you? And what do you need to do today as a result of that quote that will change your direction of your day, change the direction of where you're headed? To me, that's what motivational quotes are for. And as again, we think about Thanksgiving and we think about how thankful we are Add to that gratitude because gratitude puts the actions to the feeling of thanksgiving. If you do that, if I do that, if we all do that, our world will be a much better, happier, more joyful place. Thank you so much for watching. Sincerely from me to you, to all of your loved ones, I wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I count it as pure joy to be able to share these videos with you every week and to give you aims, attitudes, and actions that you can take each and every day to lead you in the direction of your goals and dreams. I look forward to seeing you in another video. I hope you'll like and share this one because truly, I want to bless as many people as I possibly can. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video.